Last week I posted a poll in my community tab asking if you want more slots in your backpack and grounded. More than 5,600 of you voted with 93% saying yes. This was the result I was expecting as it's pretty rare to find someone that's happy with the current number of backpack slots and grounded. My solution to this, which I mentioned in a recent video, was to allow us to increase our backpack carrying capacity by either crafting a larger backpack or by purchasing additional backpack slots from Burgle. While this would solve the problem, it seems that it's the most unlikely solution as the devs have said they don't want to increase the backpack size. Fortunately, however, many of you commented on both the poll and video with other ways of addressing this issue, and in this video I'm going to discuss the three best ideas. Before we begin, I want to thank the Overseer91, Grey Knight, and all my other channel members for helping make videos like this possible. Let's get started. Let's look at the three ideas in the order of which would be the easiest for the devs to add. First up is going to be stack size increases. So of course, currently you can increase your stack sizes for consumables, resources, and arrows via Mega Milk Molar upgrades at Burgle. The consumables start with a stack size of 5, the resources are 10, and arrows are 20. Each of these can be increased up to 5 times via the Mega Milk Molar purchases. Currently, they go up by three per level, which to me doesn't make really much sense because going up by three per level ends up giving you diminishing returns. As an example, level one for each of these is going to cost one mega milk molar. So you're going to get plus three for that. But level two is going to cost two. So that's twice as many mega milk molars. However, you're only going to get an increase of three for that. And then so on and so forth to where the last level is going to cost five mega milk molars, but you only get the plus three each time only getting a each time getting a diminishing return because getting plus three when you're going from 17 to 20 is less than getting plus three when you're going from five to eight. Same thing from going to 10 to 13 versus 22 to 25 and 20 to 23 versus 32 to 35. So my pro my proposal will be to actually increase it incrementally based on the number of milk molars per level. So the new system would have it being going up by three per level. So as, as I'm saying, going up from level one would go up by three. So for consumables, you go from five to eight. However, going to level two, instead of going from eight to 11, you would go to eight to 14, and then so on and so forth, where the max carrying size is going to be 50 for consumables, 55 for resources, and 65 for errors. I think this is fair just based on the fact that it doesn't make any sense to have diminishing returns in terms of upgrading, whereas you're having to get more Mega Milk Molars just to get the same number of slots as you did for the previous upgrade. While I would think it would make better sense to have it go up as a percentage so that each Mega Milk Molar is a percentage, it just didn't work out in terms of easily making it like a certain amount for each level and then ended up having stack sizes that were way too big. So what I ended up doing was just compromising and saying the devs wanted to have it go up by three per level or three per Mega Milk Molar. So we're just going to do three, six, nine, 12, and 15, which gets us to larger stack sizes, which would help solve the problem. I do think this will be the easiest solution because it's basically just going into the code and changing numbers rather than having to go in and increase the or changing the UI for the backpack, for example. This would simply be just going into the code, changing numbers. And of course, I say simply, it's not going to be that easy, but it's definitely going to be the easiest solution to the three that I'm going to propose. So let me know what you think about that idea in the comments down below. Now let's hop over to the second idea that you guys suggested. The second idea that was suggested, and this was suggested by quite a few people, was allowing the hot bar to not count towards your backpack inventory. So the hot bar or the hot pouch is this down here. It's what you see when you go back out on the bottom of the screen. You have eight slots, and this would actually be a really good idea because it would basically add eight additional slots to your backpack. So currently there's 30 slots in your backpack. If we could have these hot pouch bar, the hot pouch bar down here not count towards this inventory, that would essentially give us 38 spots, which is a almost a 33% increase in number of slots. And typically down here, you're gonna end up having your weapons, probably your consumables, like either food, maybe your canteen, as well as bandages. So that would be a really great idea. I don't think that would require too much change in coding. It would definitely be easier than adding an entire additional bar down here, or maybe two bars, where you could add, buy different slots, like I was suggesting earlier on, maybe buying an additional, row from Burgle or upgrading your backpack by crafting a larger one. Changing the UI here would definitely be more work than just toggling the hot pouch to not count towards your inventory, just as how the areas over here to the right do not count towards your inventory. So anything you have equipped, like your if you have things in your strong hand, weak hand, your dandelion tuft, or you have your armor on, these do not count towards your inventory. So having that plus the hot pouch would essentially give you 16 additional slots. And then the third idea, which I think was really cool, this would probably be the one that would require the most work, honestly, would be allowing us to craft a tool belt for carrying certain things, such as the ax, the hammer, the shovel, and the torch, perhaps even the canteen. Now that could maybe go over here in addition to this thing. So maybe it's over here on the left side. So it would just be a tool belt you could craft, whether it's unlocked by purchasing it from Burgle via a Burgle chip, or you just have to find certain, maybe you have to complete a quest to do it. I think that would be a cool idea to have something, maybe not right at the beginning of the game, but it's something you could earn a little bit later on when, they're, when once you've 
ended up being exposed to more and more resources. Because as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, there's over 100 resources that you can collect. There's over 100 items that you can craft that can be put into your backpack right now. So that's 200 items. Right now we only have the 30 slots plus the six over here. So basically 36 slots to carry things. That's just not enough. Having the tool belt, which would allow you to put in your ax, hammer, shovel, torch, and maybe even your canteen, which will be items that you're probably gonna be carrying most of the time, would at least free up five spots over here. So essentially giving you 35 slots or actually with you cloud these 41 slots instead of the 30. So that's a great idea. Like I said, of the three, that would probably be the one that's gonna take the most amount of work. Of course, it would take less work than actually increasing the number of slots down here. So let me know which idea you think is the best. Let me know which idea you'd like to see. Of course, it'd be great if we could have all these, if we could have the stack size increases, if we could have the hop bar not count towards our backpack, if we could have the tool belt, or even if we could have the, num the number of slots in your backpack increased either by crafting crafting a bigger backpack or by purchasing those slots from Burgle, either via raw science or perhaps milk molar upgrades in the future. Let me know which one of those ideas you like the best down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.